So I have a story of a student coming in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a paragraph, put it to my clipboard, so I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to go into Google, and I'm going to look up Bon Patron, B-O-N-P-A-T-R-O-N, and I'm going to click on this first guy. Okay, I can click straight to French, or I can go to the English one. Now once I'm there, it'll give me a screen saying, did you want to contribute? You can always click OK and it'll just go to No. But this is where you first have to start off. I'll clear my box. Backspace. Select it all. Delete. OK. Then we're going to paste my text in. And I'm going to click on Check Text. And once you do that, it'll take a little while to process. So I've already got it processed up here. I'm going to switch windows. Okay, now these are the mistakes that aren't exactly picked up in Word. It looks like each word is spelled correctly, which actually it is. But when you put them together, their content is not spelled correctly. Now, if you hover over the mouse, or hover your mouse over the formatted text to see the explanations appear. Okay, so we're going to hover over this first guy. You probably need to modify the verb. Possible endings for this verb are E D T A E. E.G. Il pao, el gopal, kizi, kiva. Now the reason they're saying this is because on is a third person preposition for a subject matter person. So a cannot finish with an s. So as you see here, in my little box, s is not one of the options. So I have e, d, t, a. So I'm going to take off my s because a is an option. And then it changes. It says modify. Okay. It's my go through. It'll be fine. 50%. This punctuation mark must be preceded by a space. That's just the French keyboard speaking. So I'll put the space there. Ill. You probably need to ally the two vowels. Ally means to take off the two vowels and put an apostrophe. So I'm going to take off my e, put an apostrophe. Okay, the next one. On appris. Did you mean on? Question mark? Because O and T is a verb and O N is the pronoun third person. So instead of we took, it's uh, now we took as opposed to have, have took. So it's just two verbs and there's no pronoun there. Okay, now you keep going, ma viso. The word is masculine. The preceding word should also be masculine. Okay, ma is a feminine pronoun. So go to O N. Okay, then as I go back, I can recheck my text. And then after it checks, I should have a few less colored pieces. Now some colored pieces will still show up because I didn't correct them all. And by the time you finish correcting them all, you'll notice that some of them that look correct are still coming up. Well, sometimes it's asking you for something a little smarter or a little bit more clean. But for grade 6 French, we're going to accept. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And when you're all done, what you do is you copy your text back from here. Or if it comes up clean, you go back into your Word document and you correct the errors manually. Okay, That'll, that should help you out. And because I'm on a Mac, it doesn't have the French keyboard setting set up. See like right here. Um, oh, it's corrected. Where's the other one? Mon Vesso is corrected. Um, there's another one. Oh, 50%. I had the space here. Remove the space after the question. Okay, I can do that. On A. A is a singular verb, so it can't be on with a T because on is also a verb. Take off the T, and I'll keep going. But as I make corrections here, I have to make sure I come back to my Word document and make more corrections. Here. Hopefully, this helped you out, and you can see uh, a bit more progress in your French grammar. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.